I think we got a game, and we're playing on Taijim again. Last time we did a Sandbagger series video, this was just a week ago, it was really well received. Uh, I think it had something like 86 likes and zero dislikes at the time I last checked, uh, which is amazing. Usually my Sandbagger series are a little bit more mixed in terms of their review, and that one in particular, I really tried to slow down. I've been sort of distracted with challenges and doing all these sort of weird go things, but I just wanted to slow it down and do more explanation, do actually a little bit more go teaching during the game. And I think you guys really responded well to that. So we're going to do it again today, damn it, because, you know, if you got a good thing, why not get two good things? All right, so here, let's do some explanation. Pretty, we, He tried to mirror me in the opening a little bit. Um, I approached, he didn't actually follow through with the mirror, so we are playing an asymmetrical game, which is great, totally cool. Uh, this is a very big extension, so I am going to aim at the 3-3 later. Um, here I do have points to um, take away the base. I'm going to play very solid here. I don't really need another move for this weak group, uh, but we're going to do it. It, it. This is sort of the meeting place of both of our bases. Uh, and assuming he does extend there, which he did, that'll give me the opportunity to enclose my corner. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use, I'm going to play robot style. We'll play the big one. And now that makes the bottom of the board very valuable for both players. Both of us are sort of building on a large, big dreams kind of scale down here. Ah, so we played very close. Uh, this is very tempting for me to actually attach here instead of here. This is still the weak point. And this is a little bit too good of a result for White locally. But it does give me a base right in the middle of his formation, which I really kind of really do want. Uh, if he's greedy, he might try to play for the outside. No, okay. So this, this, is, this is a compromise. This is a super simple variation. After this turn and he extends, I have a choice to play here or here. Uh, in this case, we're going to play a little bit conservative. My heart tells me I really want to play here and put more pressure on this stone. But, you know, these over-explanation sandbagger games, I tend not to do as much reading as I normally would do in a normal game. Uh, because, really, I'm just a tool when it comes to talking. <laughs> like, it just uses way too much brain power. Um, let's see if we can get away with this. I'm going to try to lean on this and actually develop a little bit of the center here. This is a super peaceful game, guys. This is, this is, ah, just, just drink a cup of tea, think about your moves. Oh, all right. This is unexpected. Now we have to read. What a wonderful time of the game when reading becomes super valuable. Uh, we have two Hanes here, and the unfortunate thing is we really need to read out both. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the pressure on the two stones. I, I know I said we have to read out both, and I didn't read out either <laughs> that far. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, first thing, we should also just double-check this ladder. <laughs> and it does indeed look like it works for white. Um, here, 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 and then through here. If you read this out, you'll actually see that it goes through the star point from this side which means it's going to come into this star point from this side as well. I can just extrapolate the two star points. So this stone does indeed break that ladder. All right, options. I have, connecting is just a, a nice, fine option. Like, I, I actually really like connecting right here. I could Atari and connect, and that makes White's life a little bit easier. Uh, it's, it's really, if White, let's, let's pretend, this is called Tawari analysis when you're flipping the order of the moves around. Let's pretend that I connect and white connect. Is my next move going to play here for black? Probably not. It's probably it's probably going to play here. Or if I'm feeling really aggressive over here. But um, yeah, I don't want to actually make this exchange. Basically, the order of reading here, I want to look at the most severe move first. In this case, the Atari. Um, to that ladder. Ladder doesn't work. Okay, not interesting. Is next most uh, severe move is to Atari this way. Does this work? Well, it works but it doesn't actually end up with the shape that I want. So I have to go one step further. What happens if I just defend? Well, white has to defend. And so that's that. And I actually have time here to just cut these in half. Now, white will probably play over here. 
um, and just and just make a very solid corner. I've taken firm control of the bottom now, uh, where we were both sort of fighting over it because we both had developable corners. Um, I've given up more of the corner to earn control of that bottom. So white gets two big corners and a little bit of the top left. In exchange, I've got a, I also have a little bit of the left top, and really I just have a big bottom. No, not that kind of bottom. Uh, White's looking for some Aji here. That's fine. Uh, looks like he's going to try to run out. It's a little premature to run out, I think. Um, like, like he's counting on the fact that this group over here really isn't that strong. But, uh, you know, after this move, this group is quite strong, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to basically seal in the corner at the next opportunity. He's really just running out. All right, let's make shape. There's kind of a key point there, or there. It's kind of the same key point, which is kind of interesting. Here I have this ladder, uh, so I'm going to play it. The ladder that I'm seeing is if I play here, white pushes, I block, white cuts, I can extend, and then can white ladder this stone this way? That's the ladder. If you guys can read that out, you're a good go player. So I'm going to shoulder hit, keep this pressure on. This white's group suffering a little bit. It's, just, it's a little suffering. Um, he's building two walls that are one space apart. That is usually good for you. <laughs> and, and the best part is they actually still don't have eyes yet. <laughs> oh, okay. So he's not going to really make the eye, sh eye space. He's going to assume uh, that because the shoulder hit worked well for me, it'll also work for him. I'm not so sure. Let's harass the corner. Interesting. Uh, looks like I'm also going to be running the corner group out. Again, I should have read this. <laughs> Playing a little bit more on instinct here. This is uh, an interesting distinction. If I play here, he gets another free move. I don't really want him to have that free move. If I play here, he gets this as a free move and I don't have an eye there anymore, so my shape is worse, and it's kind of like a co, but it's a huge co. Let's give him the free move. I'm just going to play very simply. If he... yep. Okay. Now, I have a lot of strength on the right. This this was a huge... makes a huge difference in terms of strength. Uh, I do need a move over here, essentially. Um, he has a... he has... The, my, my black group Meh. <laughs> it's all right. You know, no one, no one's saying it's it's dead, but it's lacking a little bit in strength currently. Uh, I just can't tell if this honey is good. Like it doesn't. It it feels natural, right? It 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 feels natural, but it also feels like white just gets more forcing moves from it. But maybe it's actually not that many. Let's play it. Okay, we, we counted on this. This is the move we want to play. And it does leave us with a little bit of a shape problem, but nothing we can't handle. Again, we're keeping the two weak groups separated. It's going to take that Atari. That is fine. Okay. Uh, we should play... which one? I think this one. This one actually helps both of our eye space. <laughs> so I think we're going to play this one. I'm okay with helping both of us because then I'm just going to attack this white group more strongly and take control of the center here. Actually, this this one, never mind. I, I think I lied. I don't think this one was that useful. <laughs> All right, we're just going to jump. Again, threaten to poke and cut. Uh, white, white locally in the corner is dead. Like, only has one eye. Wow. Okay. It's going to define all the shapes. <laughs> that is his style. All right. 
This is a really kind of nasty move. Do I need another move down here? Not really, like I'm alive, but actually it's good tempo to do it right now. Um, white is still, again, white only has one eye on the corner and doesn't have two eyes here yet. Oh, he took it. What a bummer. That's good, that's good. I thought he would play over here and then I would get to come back, but that was optimistic thinking. We are prone to doing that in Go. This is this is actually kind of becoming a big move too, if, if I get just a tiny bit of strength. We're just gonna Hane on top, see what he does. I do have some options here that are all interesting. <laughs> uh, this cut is becoming a big deal. <laughs> I'm going to protect it this way. And again, I'm going to just try to seal in this group very slowly. Now, in terms of territory, uh, I am behind. I, I, am, I am still trying to profit from these attacks somehow. And until I do that, I will be behind. I'm getting a little bit of profit here. This really isn't profit. This is, you know, five points. Uh, I think we're, we'll, we'll let him take the Atari. That's fine. Hmm. Looks good. Uh, I also want to play a ceiling move. This would be nice if it worked. Let's just be patient. Uh, force him into make a, a bad shape. <laughs> There's the empty triangle that all the kids know and love. Uh, I think this peep is good to take right now. This push is also big. I think peep first. Okay, he's, he's living a little bit dangerous here. It's a little bit dangerous of a move. First, let's play this one. A little crude, but... Okay, he's got to run that way now. And as he runs that way, I'm going to run along with him. It'll make sealing this white other white group... Oh, he's not going to run that way. Okay. <laughs> I lied. I lied to you all. My apologies. Uh, so... This is probably the correct move to play first, I think. Seems like it. Let's do it. <laughs> uh. So the move I really want to play is here. <laughs> but my my shape gets a little too cut, so... We're, again, we're just going to stay strong. We've been we've been going at that so far this game. Um, we haven't played anything really aggressive. Like we've been very calm. Like maybe the most aggressive move was the shoulder hit uh, attack, this leaning attack on this group. Um, and that's okay. I still want to play this one. Looking a little dangerous. <laughs> uh, this this is a nice combination for him at the top. Mm. We're going to play this one, this tighter one. And we will make sure we're out. We're also setting up some sort of counterattack later. Not yet. Because <laughs> we've still got to do this business. I'm looking at this Hane for him, or this... Uh, Jump, weird jump move. This weird jump move feels like it, but let's let's start from here. You'll probably take this peep right away. Oh, okay. Interesting. We're still if you if you guys are noticing, we're still running the two weak groups together here. Now one problem I totally failed to uh see in my <laughs> cursed reading here is I'm left with actually this this wedge, which is nasty. <laughs> Nasty, nasty wedge. So we got to find a sequence that will prevent that. Actually, is this wedge really that bad? Dun, 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 dun. It's not the best, but let's let's try to use this stone to fix it. 
by th um, okay, so there we go. Now everybody's fixed. We can resume negotiations as we were. Uh, I'm just going to diagonal out here. Again, applying a little bit of pressure to each side. And hopefully after this move, uh, he'll be forced to make his eyes. Probably with that move. Okay. Uh, we still have this push here, essentially. Um, so we have to read out this one. Does it, is this move Sente against the group? My intuition says yes. This is where life and death reading becomes important. Dun, 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 dun. Totally. All right, we can play here. Uh, so we're, again, if, if our, once our opponent commits to living, we're going to ask all the questions. Do you really want to live? <laughs> like, were, were you really? Oh, okay. He's not fully committed to living. He's like, let me, let me explore, see what else, see what other options I have here first. Oh dear. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Yeah, so he's noticed that if I actually cut, he can counter cut and fight. Mm. He has an increased confidence the fact that he's now one move away from living. That's a little tragic. We don't like our opponents to be confident. A little go secret there for you. Uh, I re also really, like, intuitively wanted double Hane. But we're just going to stay safe. Um, I do need another move over here. This is uh, a little problem. Ooh. Okay. Um, let's keep up the pressure on the other group. We've kind of ignored it for a little while. Uh, I'm really looking for timing to play moves like this. Let's see if I can get a little bit stronger first. Let's do a quick score count here. Uh, actually, it's it, it's actually almost pointless, I guess, to do a score right now where nothing is decided. Uh, I really want to do this, the super crude QA, which is bump and then honey. The problem, well, there's lots of problems. <laughs> But it might be, it might, actually, it's, it's not looking terrible. It looks like I'll get something. And that's all I really need. I just need a little something here. If it's like one extra little bit of strength to, to capture these two stones, I'm happy. If it lets me protect this cut and sente and cut over here, then I'm feeling pretty happy. Uh, so I'm just looking, okay, he's going to cut directly. Great! <laughs> Don't you love it when your opponents do that? <laughs> actually, I think, uh, I think, I think this was really optimistic for him. Like, really, really optimistic. But, you never know. <laughs> never know. Uh, we have lots of options here. <laughs> I, I also really want to play a move like this. So... In this scenario, looks like I actually can't play this yet. <laughs> in, conclu in conclusion, in the conclusion of my reading. Hmm. Can't 
can't be cutting, right? Cutting right now? I mean, I've had worse ideas. <laughs> Definitely had worse ideas. Okay. Uh, so he has to be very careful. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. Mm -hmm. This Hane is the move I want to play. Uh, it's it's we're down to one move capturing races here on all these all these variations. So the reading has to be careful. Very, very careful. Because <laughs> this move, this move, oh, he's not going to play it. Okay, interesting. So he's aiming, He's he has this peep here, which is really nice for him. Uh, very, very nice. All right. So he's going to try to start a capturing race here, it looks like. A one-eye versus one-eye capturing race. Seems good. Like, I think it's a, I think it's a fine idea. Uh, let's ask with that move. The nice thing about this move is it actually can sort of get me a second eye. Oh, interesting. All right. I was so I was so concerned about reading the extension variations that um, I didn't think of this. All right, uh, this this move certainly feels killer. As long as I have enough time, it's, it's all about time here. He needs he really needs another move to take this one away, or actually he can clamp in the corner. Um, the clamp the clamp in the corner is is like looking pretty cool. <laughs> But I think we have time. That's, that's, that's what I got to say about that. I think we have time. Famous last words. Uh, let's read these cuts. Nothing... Looks like it works. <laughs> so that's wonderful news. Uh, I might not even need to Hane. Which means I can just play here again. So that's cool. Or even here. Um... Uh, of course, this cut... <laughs> Actually, if I really don't need to play over here at all... Uh, any any move works for him? No, right? Nothing. So I can just cut? Question mark? Yep. Like, this, this overplay. Like, this has to threaten something. What else is there? Oh, okay. So, if actu so there is actually, okay, a ladder variation where... After this extension, he's threatening that. So I have to be, have to be prepared for that. Um, so I cut, he Ataris, I extend. He Ataris, and then he has this extra um, ladder piece, this extra stone there. So he can get it out to there and then start this ladder, but I still have a stone here. So let's just cut and solve all of our problems. Now, the, the downside to this... Is there a net? Did I miss the net? No, because he still has to come back and fix. So there's no net. Um, is in a normal... Yeah, there's the fix. Okay. The fix is in. Uh, oh, a little bit of a problem. I still didn't play a move over here. <laughs> hmm. I wonder... <laughs> if I can get away with playing this move. Let's make this exchange. This is a really weird-looking exchange. 
Okay, so he's going to take that right now in attempt to get this net going. Oh, and he just blocks. Okay. All right, so that should give me the time I need. to just play here and call it a day. All right, good game. <laughs> uh, we should actually look more at the life and death situation up here. This game is not actually over. Uh, furthermore, once this resolves, then the white dragon is dead too. So this is this is a part of the game where, okay, this needs, this needs a resolution. <laughs> Because right now, if black gets one more move, it's it's not good for white. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Over here, it looks like uh, white's most interesting move is this one to make shape. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get injured over here. So that, but I'm but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that if he is. I'm going to give up the one stone, uh, which will solve some of his problems. Like, he is actually going to get compensation. But the problem is going to go there, too. That's fine. We're fine with this. I'm not sure why. I guess, I guess this is kind of still big. Um, sure. Sure. Mm. That is some fighting words. All right, all right. So now, before we resolve this, uh, we really need to do the life and death here. If white plays here, the obvious shape point for black is to play here, uh, which then reduces to one eye. So no problem. Hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, if he plays there, play there. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So I think we just play a move like this. <laughs> Ooh, still one eye. But I still have that. Overtime countdown. Oh my gosh, we're in overtime. Is this any better? Hard to say. <laughs> might be, might be mildly better. I can't, I can't actually tell which one's better. All right, he's gonna pop out that eye. Oh, right, he gets to do that in Sente. I need to make that eye immediately if I want it. Um, that's okay. Oh, okay. He's gonna pop out the eye over here. That's kind of at a, at a big cost to him, though. Nine, uh, I think we're eight, just we're just in a seven, regular old strict five, capturing four. race. Automatic. Pop out the eye. This might be Seki. <laughs> the way it's going. This moves good. Right, threatens this to make this one eye. Uh, okay. And now we just collapse. We collapse him, not us. We were, I think we're fine. <laughs> I think we have it by a move. We like this move. <laughs> Mm 
Hmm? 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 Uh, maybe this is better. What is better? Hmm? 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 Not sure what I need to. I, I might have needed to take the Atari on this move. This. Actually, he should give me at least one more free move because he needs to film both these liberties. At which point, if he takes either one, then I take this Atari. Oh? Okay. Looks fine. I think everybody's fine. So does that mean I just come back and play here? Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four. Yeah, this is played up. <laughs> All right, so he can never Atari there. So I think we're good. Seems great. Connect. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry that that got that got really confusing, and I kind of stopped talking <laughs> for a little bit. Um, but as long as these two are in Seki, and I'm still killing the giant dragon here, then my Seki is not a real Seki. Oh, he has an eye here. What? Did he just play there? Is he really thinking this is not a Seki? Alright, as soon as I play here, I can kill everything. I didn't see this eye. He, ha he has this weird um, threat to disconnect my group. Uh, uh, what is he going to do? Nine, huh? Huh? Alright, play there. So now he can't make an eye there and there. Okay. Down here, uh, don't see a good way for him to make an eye. That's just an L group. So L groups have one eye. This is the L, for those of you who don't know. Um, this is a really big move. <laughs> really, really big. Ask. And again, I can just sort of live calmly over here. <laughs> so he didn't even get the corner. <laughs> oh, right, he still has an attack. There's some moves left to play in this game. How exciting. Uh, I don't, I'm not even, I don't really need those two stones. So if he's just going to let me give them up, I will. <laughs> Okay, you can have them. All right, uh, so the giant dragon is dead. I'm not sure why we're still playing. Oh, because he thinks you know, he can kill this? <laughs> that has to be it, right? Well, let us inform the nice Go player that he cannot. All right, it's got a little scary. <laughs> oh, okay. He's asking for... Oh, nice. He has this move, but that doesn't really work. Okay. So he's thinking he's push here and has some sort of Atari, but... Uh, okay, you can play there. That is allowed by the rules of the game. Hmm? 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 Does it do anything? I don't think so. All right. Now we're talking about the dragon. This is the part of the game where they reside. Fairly certain. Ah, he's gonna try. L groups are dead. L groups are dead. Uh, 
Battle groups are still dead. Um, I'm not seeing much. So all of this is black. <laughs> this whole, this is uh, pretty close to half the board. I mean, yeah. All right, so in this game, you know, it got it got out of control here. Uh, thank you. Let's do a little reviewing. Talk about it a little bit more. Um, I played very passive in the beginning. Like I just I just tried to exhibit very strong fundamentals in this early game. Uh, this move is a little bit interesting. It's worth talking about actually. Um, the old move used to be here on the assumption that if white kicks, this is better shaped for black. Uh, since the dawn of the robots, though, the, the, the robots seem to actually favor this one and don't mind being kicked. Uh, they don't mind being a little bit narrower here because it's a little bit more solid. It leaves less Aji for white later on after if white makes another investment move over here getting strong. So white can invade. So, I don't know. This is just a, this is just a little slight tweak. Um, you'll still find players, especially older players, who who haven't caught up with all the AlphaGo stuff of the last half decade, uh, that, you know, this is, uh, this is fine. Like, this is totally a move. Um, but it does lead to a lot of complications. And so, anyway, again, this, this, the mantra for this game was to just play it real, keep things real simple. Again, I don't need a move over here. Uh, let me show you an example of, a, of an alternative. Let's say I were to take this corner right away and white kicks. Well, I can still play here. And even if white, you know, does something like this, like, I'm totally safe. So, this exchange, I think that was the game. Uh, here, go to game. Uh, indeed. Is very passive. Like, it's very, it's very, I don't know. That it's, it's not needed. I think that's, that's the key. I'm just being extra safe, being, keeping the game extra simple, defining the shapes a little bit more... Uh, than I probably should, but that's okay. That's okay. So here I took a big point, and then we have this these, this two stone wall, and then this two stone wall facing each other. So both players, there's got a gold rush, right? This has to just say, look, this is overly settled, <laughs> right? This is less than interesting. This corner, maybe there's a big move over here or approaching the white stone, um, but half, but realistically, all the development that we're going to talk about is at the bottom. And my opponent plays there. And, you know, he didn't have to. He could have played there. This would have been a more reasonable approach. Um, it could have gone almost the exact same way, actually. Like, like this almost exact same variation could have happened, except now the two-stone group is one line closer to the weak group on black rather than the, the Shamari enclosure. There's pros and cons. I have no idea which is better. They're just both options. Like, I don't... I don't... You have to be ready for both, basically. I guess the one thing, if white plays here, uh, black might do this sort of thing, where uh, black plays here, or <clears throat> sometimes here, but plays this kind of variation. And, <clears throat> uh, you know, there's, there's this Aji here with this stone, so if white takes another move, um, black takes an extension. So in this way, black gets the corner and extends from... It gets a little bit bigger of a, of a bottom right-hand corner. And so this feels a little bit unfair to white. Like, white feels a little over-concentrated here. If white hadn't played the large Shamari, this wouldn't be quite as possible. If this stone was a line lower, black can't quite take the corner as easily. Um, and then also get the outside. Um, just in that preview shape, you can actually see uh, the mistake, which is kind of fun for white, if it's this stone right here, the one above nine. Oh, why didn't I have the grid on? I should have put the grid on. I meant to do that to help out people in chat. Uh, this stone right here totally looks out of place, right? Like empty triangle, just one stone extension from a pretty strong group. Uh, not that useful. You'd, yeah, not not a good stone. So this this makes that stone look particularly bad in this variation. And that's, Probably, you know, we can chalk that up to at least uh, the real reason why white extended for more. Uh, make make invading the corner like this 
much less attractive, make the white territory bigger and the black territory smaller. One way to think about it. All right, so played all this. I played small here. Again, I kind of regret doing that. kind of wish I played there. Because uh, after this, I, I, I can actually um, play here like I did in game, or I can also play here. This also works. Uh, they're both pretty playable. And even to the point where, you know, maybe if white just settles like this, uh, I can even just take another move, a slow move, and build the corner. And... You know, this game feels good for black. It's, it's, it's pretty even. It's probably like black is up two points, um, maybe. But the reason why I'm saying that is it, this white group, not very big. The black group, not very big either, but it feels better spaced and defended and has a little more presence in the center with these two stones sticking up. Like maybe there's, there's just more potential. Like if these are potential points, maybe they don't count as a full point. They count as like some fraction of a point, a quarter point, a third point, a half point. Maybe these are like half points, maybe these are like third points, and maybe over here these are half or uh, quarter points. So some, but but you can add those up and get like, you know, maybe there's two or three points there extra for black uh, that white doesn't have with this group. And if you think the corners cancel out, they don't quite, white's actually slightly bigger, but close enough. I'm sort of canceling out this group with this group for now. Again, white's slightly bigger, but black also already has the last remaining corner. So uh, in, this, in this case, I'm seeing that you know, black, it's, it's white's move, so I'm canceling out, I'm taking away white's move for this move. I'm, I'm sort of assuming those are too equal. I'm uh, canceling out this corner with this corner and this corner with this corner and just looking at the center and saying, oh yeah, black has a couple more points of extra potential that white doesn't have. A little more central influence, so that's, that's my conclusion, but it's very close. It's very close. All right, here, uh, we can look at the variation I didn't play, which was this one. In this case, I would assume white was going to pull back and then black has a little bit of a shape problem. Uh, if he plays this way, there's actually still this cut, which is really annoying. And, oh man, it can get, it can get yucky. Um, you can see that right now, this black group, not a lot of liberties. Uh, it, I mean, blacks wins this capturing race, but white has anything over here, and all of a sudden that changes. <laughs> that fate can change. So... You know, white white can essentially kind of kill two birds with one stone, protecting against this shoulder hit and threatening uh, something in the corner. If I just extend this way, uh, it's still a little dangerous for both players. So I don't know. It, 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 there is a chance it still might be better than what I played in the game, um, but my my at least play felt more consistent. Where I was going to say, no, white, you don't get anything easy except the corner. You can have two corners. I will grant you that privilege. Uh, but then from that point on, we're not we're not Mr. Nice Guy anymore. Uh, here, I did wonder about Hane. Um, this seems a little bit... Hmm, maybe it's not bad. Actually, it's probably not bad at all. I assume this would be a lot worse for me than it is, but... Uh, it's fine. <laughs> so what's the other option? If white plays here... Can I double honey? And the answer looks like yes. <laughs> uh, again, if white plays here, that actually helps me. I have the ladder, so this extension isn't very good. I have this peep. So white kind of cries. You know, white has to play some moves like this, but then I get to capture a little bit more. So yeah, it looks like I missed an opportunity. It looks, look, looks like this move was way too passive. Just giving white all sorts of time. Uh, and again, that was partially just my own, until this move, all these moves I played were very solid, passive in nature. Uh, this was not a good game to learn aggression from. <laughs> uh, so the shoulder hit, again, I pointed out the ladder. We can actually put it on the board now. Uh, this ladder um, is broken by this stone, and the way to know that is to read out in relation to the star point. So if black extends, right, extend, 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 and you can see that it goes and touches the diagonal of star point, which means there's going to be a black stone here, here, and here. This stone's going to be an Atari. Uh, so that's your fast ladder reading trick for the day. Uh, here, this, I could have played <laughs> this one. <laughs> 
and probably gotten a pretty similar result. Probably white just exchanges this, and this is alive for white. Um, that's all white needs to be alive. Uh, and then, you know, come back and play a move over here, here, or uh, probably the more gentle this one. Um, they're both they're both good. They both will benefit me. Uh, but I'm still left with this cut uh, to deal with later, so I need to have a plan. This one, I'm really trying to make white cower. I'm really, I'm really. This is a, a little bit more of an aggressive push here. At this point in the game, I had been playing so many solid safe moves that I felt like I needed to push just a little bit. I need to capitalize on the strength that I'd built up. Um, in the end, this was fine, uh, but it's scary. <laughs> and then here, yeah, I think it was probably better to play this one. This does give him an L plus a Hane, still not alive, but is a little more can be a little more tricky some, tricky some is that even a word? Uh, to deal with later. So, okay, here, here, yeah, my shape, my shape probably dictates not jumping out here. I think uh, oh, preview. No, no, no. I want to go back. Up. Okay, original. Go back. Preview. Um, let's pretend I just played this one. White's still gonna play here. Right, like there's no other um, move. Well, actually, yeah, then I'm in a little bit of trouble. I'm, I feel a little bit behind on both sides. If I come out here, um, white's going to do something like this. Mm, still a fight. But white has a lot more momentum on this side, so. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, so taking this peep real bad, real bad for white. I think this this was very helpful to me, to my cause. Because look at this, what if white just plays here? Well, the move black wants to play is here. But then, white has this move. <laughs> and if I'm like, yeah, I just run away. Later on, white has a, white can find a cut here. Again, right now, it's it's not good. <laughs> white is too weak. But again, this is this sort of shows you, if you leave a weakness, and it doesn't work, but your opponent gets just a little bit stronger, you'll find yourself it magically will work for your opponent, and then you're in trouble. <laughs> and so when my opponent took this peep, it was very happy. Very happy. And I actually had enough time to come back over here now. <laughs> and we did all this business. He's just looking for eyes, and I'm just not giving them. Uh, alternatives here, let's look. Here, instead of this, it might have been prudent to play this way instead. Um, I can still protect if I need to, but in reality I'm going to Tanuki this and go after the bottom center. Uh, if I connect, um, white still doesn't have two eyes. <laughs> That's a false eye. So, yeah, I, I think I rushed to play this move. I, d I just I just wanted to prevent White getting a, a sente move to play to to get an eye, which was this move. But in the end, I think it injured injured my upper corner a little bit too much, and so that that was a little regret, regretful. Yeah, because here this was this actually move was very nice. This this was uh this is sharp. Um, peeping at the cut, hemming in the corner, keeping the corner very small, if if not even in a dead shape, uh, and providing an access out for the dragon. Very nice. If I really want to fight like crazy, I hinted at it during the game with a move like this. It is not clear to me. Like I, this is a lot. This is a very long reading sequence uh, to know what's going to happen, uh, especially if it goes like this. If it goes, if it goes like this. Maybe, maybe actually this is fine. I just need to give up two stones. I'm not sure. Yeah, if I give up two stones, I get a big corner. Um, and all my problems are solved except for this group. But I have a weak group versus weak group, so I should be fine. So that that's one <laughs> outcome. What's another outcome? If I don't give up the two stones, it looks like this. But hey now. I'm not an all-star. I, I I feel a little little 
timid here if I just play some of these crude crude variations. Uh, I'm not sure. White can make an eye there as well. If white just if white just bows out, it says nope. I got an eye. Uh, I got a fix. Actually, that move's not a very good fix because there's a, still a peep here. Yeah, my shape, pretty awful, pretty awful. Hmm. Might can even play that later too. After, um, uh, actually, before that, probably has to play another move over here. But you get the point. Uh, I'm not, I'm not in love with black. Like white's, white's top. This, these two moves helped white considerably make the top. And with white being completely safe here, it's a sort of weak-ish group versus weak-ish group, which is fair. <laughs> Uh, and I no longer have my big bottom. It's uh, quite small. Got a little bit on the side, but yeah, not much compensation. So this was very risky. This also was very risky, right? If white, uh, if white ever kind of gets his act, act together, I don't have eyes either. <laughs> and so white, this is white's failure to not take advantage of that. But we were just busy. Like this is this was just busy. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna stop the review there. I really hope that I explained enough this game. I I get distracted playing Go. Like I just end up playing Go, and uh, you know, sometimes I forget to talk, which is a problem. But anyway. Uh, I hope your games are all going well. I hope you guys are playing Go. Weather's getting warmer here. I actually see sun outside, which is rare these... Well, it's actually increasingly less rare, but felt like it just felt like a long winter. So uh, I hope you guys are getting outside, get some fresh air. Uh, you know, go, go be the best version of you and Go player that you can be. I'll see you next time. <laughs>